What is good YouTube? Today we're going to discuss one of the best change of pace crossovers you can do in transition in NBA 2K23. A move which currently I can only execute with Tyler Hero and DeMar DeRozan but I'm still trying to figure out who has this in their animation package. So the move will cost you 1 adrenaline boost bar, 2 if you hold turbo to get to the basket but it's well worth it to set the pull up jumpers, cross them up to get to the basket, even hit them with step backs as you use their momentum against them. So the move is basically a left stick change of pace crossover going from slow to fast and it's very precise in how you execute it so you need to practice this move and make sure that you get the timing correctly. Alright this is post edit Kevin and I said in the video that this move is a bit rare that I only know how to do it with Tyler Hero and DeMar DeRozan but after labbing a few more R's, I found that a lot of the Toronto Raptors wing players have this move, Jalen Brown has this move, Keegan Murray, uh, Desmond Bain, um, Dylan Brooks, so it's not as rare as I thought it was, but it's more rare than you think. But if your wing player has this dribble style and you can execute this move, it's really worth it to just look at this video and see how to incorporate this into your game. Okay, back to the main video now. So you want to start by initiating this walk-up animation towards the basket. As you can see right here, it's holding the left stick up and towards the basket. And at this point, you want to hold turbo and then move the left stick up and to the right to your non-ball hand to initiate that nice change of pace crossover. So there are two things at play here. First is your change of pace and the second is the angle and the aggressiveness you get out of that crossover which will send your defender back and you can easily counter them with step back jumpers if they commit to closing that gap and trying to contain you. Make sure you have enough space when you initiate this move. As you can see here, I needed that space to initiate that crossover forcing Zach Levine to move down and laterally to try and contain Tyler Hero and we easily counter him with a step back jumper. Same move here with DeRozan. We get Jimmy Butler moving back and use that space to pull up for a wide open. Again, just using that momentum against him and countering with a step back jumper. So this move will either create space or you might end up in a ride animation and we already know from our previous videos, the ride animation isn't something to fear. Use your contact layups to get to the basket and finish at will. Executing this move for most guys will give you this cross jab animation which again is a nice change of pace move but doesn't create as much space and isn't as aggressive as our change of pace crossover. Now of course you want to mix things up by adding right stick crossover animations just to be more diverse in how you set up your attacks. You can also add a stutter step to this combo just by mixing up the timing of your left stick inputs after you hold turbo. So while holding left stick towards the basket, hold R2 to initiate that sprint animation and then hold the left stick up and to the left or to the right away from your ball hand to initiate that nice change of pace crossover animation. So again, just adding that nice change of pace sprint animation forces your defender to commit a little bit more to defending the sign you're initially attacking before you counter them quickly with that nice change of pace crossover once you get them to commit. So here we already get DeRozan with the sprint animation, that nice change of pace crossover forces him to overreact on defense and then we just hit him with a step back jump shot. I mean, just look at how we get Zach Levine leaning out of that stutter step. We quickly counter with that crossover. And unfortunately, Vooch was able to defend the basket. And see here in this next clip, because our defender is so concerned with that stutter step crossover and trying to contain penetration, he overreacts and lets us open with a wide open step back jump shot. So again, this move requires a lot of practice, a lot of precision, a lot of patience in setting this up. Left stick crossovers are a very underrated move in NBA 2K23. Not many people use them at the right situation, but if you're able to master the precision and the timing that it takes to execute these moves, these are about as powerful as it gets in NBA 2K23. Now, the thing with Tyler Hero is his right stick moving crossover that is while moving, tapping the right stick up left or up right to your non-ball hand actually is very similar to the left stick crossover. There's just a few differences. I think the distance traveled with a left stick hezzy crossover is a little bit further. There's an exaggerated hezzy movement, but it's pretty similar in function. So this move is actually more beneficial to someone like DeMar DeRozan who has a different right stick crossover from the left stick hezzy crossover. Now how to equip this in my player or my career, I'm not exactly sure. There are guys that are better suited for that, but the move's here if you need it. So that's it for this quick video. Hope you enjoyed it. Let me know in the comment section below. Thumbs up if you think this was very useful and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.